with Qdox Xerox. In this video I'm going to show you the best way to add a printer on a Macintosh desktop. There are several ways to add a Xerox printer to your Mac, but the way I'm going to show you is the most reliable, the most consistent, and gives you the access to the full range of Xerox features. So go to Xerox.com, click on customer support, and then click all support and drivers. You need to know the model of your Xerox machine. Now in this example, I'm using one called the C8055, but you need to know your own model number. Enter it in the search field and hit enter. And then you're gonna come up with a page that says drivers and downloads, and you click on that link. The uh, web page will adjust to the platform that you're uh, accessing it from but if it's the wrong version you can select the correct version from this list so that you get the correct driver. You'll get a list of drivers or in this case the most suitable driver which is the Mac OS print and scan driver and agree to the terms and conditions and download. After the file is downloaded open the DMG file and it'll open up to an executable package, the print driver installer. So open that and agree and continue whenever the pop-ups come up so you can run and install this software. You'll probably have to put in your password. Now the, your system will discover printers on your network, but the thing that is different about this approach is you don't want to add any of the printers that are automatically discovered. Just click continue, continue, and then close. And it's up to you if you want to keep or uh, delete the, uh, the uh, Xerox driver. Go to system preferences to add the printer. The next thing you're going to need to know is the IP address of your printer. So click on printers and scanners, click the plus sign. Do not select the printer that is automatically discovered. Click on IP, type in the IP address of your printer. It will probably be different than the one I'm typing in here. So you'll need to know your IP address for your Xerox. Make sure that this protocol is line printer daemon LPD. IPP and AirPrint just don't work as reliably. And for the Q name, put in LP. Down here under the name, you can add any descriptive name that you want. Uh, you can call your uh, printer, uh, you know, Giordano if you want to, or any descriptive name, and then click Add. The driver is bi-directional, so it will correctly configure and set up your printer automatically. Now, the next key element, and this is especially true if you're using accounting codes, and if you want to get the full range of Xerox features, you have to create presets. Depending on which version of Mac OS you're using, you may have to use a non-Apple application. So. I'm using Word in this case. You can also use Acrobat Reader. Uh, what you're looking for is in the print menu, when you select the new printer that you just created, you want to see a menu called Xerox Features. If you see an option called Printer Features, the preset will not work as reliably. So that's why, depending on the version of Mac OS you have, you may need to use something that's not preview safari or mail so set the features that you want to be your defaults for example in this case black and white one-sided printing and then under presets save the current settings as a preset and um, now that the preset's been created you can access it from any other application on your desktop if you're using xerox standard accounting Go to the advanced menu, select accounting, and most likely your accounting method is gonna be Xerox standard accounting. 
Now always prompt means that every time you print a little window will pop up and you'll have to validate or verify that the accounting code is correct. If you're using a workstation where multiple people use the same desktop that's maybe a good idea but if you're using your own desktop you can select do not prompt and then in this field you can put in the accounting code that is pertinent for you and then once you've set that up don't forget to save it as a preset so that it'll automatically be loaded every time you print you can create as many presets as you like and that's entirely up to you so that's the setup for a uh, xerox print driver on a mac i thank you for your time